Hello, my name is Remy Morgan Schmidt. I am 18 years old and a senior in high school. Human rights to me means that every individual in this world is comfortable exercising their personal liberties and pursuing opportunities that better themselves as individuals in society. Now, what I want to stress upon you today is a big issue, and this big issue is called human trafficking. Human trafficking takes an individual from what they're used to and from what they know, and it puts them in a foreign environment where they are then told that they do not have personal liberties, that they do not have a chance to live the life that they were given, and that they are basically less than animals. To me, this is the biggest human rights violation because it takes a person and it tells them that they have no value and that they are bought and sold and that they are abused and neglected. To me, this is one of the biggest human rights violations in existence. Human trafficking takes many different forms. There is sex trafficking, forced labor, domestic servitude, organ harvesting, and child trafficking, among others. I come from a good neighborhood and have been privileged in many ways, but I have also seen the injustice towards men, women, and children in my community. I have seen what happens to women when they have no money to raise their children and what they end up trying to do to raise them. I have met people who do back straining work all day for less money than I make babysitting for two hours. I hear about people who suddenly disappear and are never heard from again. Some parents sell their daughters for sex in the United States. Some kids are forced to work in fields from sunup to sundown. Whether or not we see the human trafficking taking place around us, we all have a responsibility to help end the problems. Human trafficking is not only an issue in third world countries. In fact, the United States has an enormous problem with it. Wherever the human trafficking may be, we can help stop trafficking before it starts. And while it is a sad truth that human trafficking will always exist, we can greatly decrease the number of men, women, and children trafficked. Human trafficking is like a weed, a weed that has its roots in every single country on this planet. And it's a big problem. So what? Now what are we going to do about it? To help stop human trafficking before it starts, I created a charity last year called Pop the Bubble Go International with my friend Hamida Amaral, an exchange student from the Philippines. My goal for this charity is to inspire teens to get interested with an issue that bothers them in the world, whether it is on a small scale or a large scale. I sold t-shirts last year and all the profits will go towards providing an education to a girl so she won't be sold for drugs or money and so that she could receive an education that she would otherwise not be able to have. Money would also be given to her parents so she wouldn't be seen as an economic burden. We only raised $150 and while it may not change the world so much, it will change the world of one girl. I hope that in the future I can expand my charity, and I have big plans for it. I want to sell more t-shirts, but I want them to come from companies that I can set up in countries all over the world. I want to enable men, women, and children to work in safe environments that pay them more than a survival rate. I want to pay them a living rate. I also want to give them an education through online programs that will teach them how to write, read, and do arithmetic, as well as other skills that might be useful in their culture, such as agriculture, animal husbandry, midwifery, basic nursing, etc. My hope is that large companies would endorse this product and sell the t-shirt at their stores. While the t-shirt would cost more than an average t-shirt, people would be persuaded to buy the product because it was made by workers who received a livable wage in a safe environment and also received an education at the same time. In addition to my charity, I would like to go to university in order to study international relations so I can go on to make policies that ensure human rights laws are enforced. While so many human rights laws exist, they are seldom enforced because money gets involved. My nonprofit does not operate on the basis of earning money for a select few. The money is spread to those who need it most. I don't want to be like other companies that cut costs and lives. I want to cut the injustice of human trafficking. Being a global citizen to me means using the skills that I was given to make a difference in this world. Because as a global citizen, it is unjust of me to sit and watch the human rights violations just take place. Being a global citizen means doing whatever it may be. It means taking action and picking up a pen and a paper, a passport and a plane ticket, a combat boots and a helmet. Whatever it may be, a change can be made. But as a very wise man once said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. No, it's not.